they're a very convenient way for us to wash our clothes. But some lawmakers say the pods are dangerous to children. And now they want companies who make them to add more warnings. Nick Starling has the story from our Washington, D.C. newsroom. If you take a look at these liquid laundry detergent packets, they're very soft and colorful. If I were to put this into a candy jar, could your young child know the difference between the detergent pods and the candy? Well, a group of lawmakers are pushing for a bill aimed at keeping kids away from these potentially poisonous pods. It was a scary moment for Mother Jill Cozio last September. My newly mobile eight-month-old managed to quickly crawl to the hamper, pulled herself to standing, and bit into one of the packets. Her daughter, Kate, was in intensive care for the next two days. Luckily, she survived. I will always second guess that moment of leaving that detergent packet anywhere within reach. These liquid laundry detergent packets, or pods, came on the market in 2012. Since then, the National Poison Data System received over 17,000 calls from 2012 to 2013, involving children exposed to chemicals in the packets. Of those, 769 children require hospital and one boy died in Florida. Make it a little tougher for the kids to get into the package, but easy for adults. Senator Dick Durbin is part of a group of lawmakers urging Congress to take action with a bill called the Detergent Poisoning and Child Safety Act, which aims to make these detergent packets less alluring to kids. Something needs to be done. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is also alerting parents about these detergent packets because the way they look. They seem to resemble things that, ki things that kids are familiar with, such as toys, candy, or teething products. But the American Cleaning Institute calls this bill unnecessary, saying, quote, Manufacturers have already made major changes to their packaging, improving warning labels to advise proper use in storage instructions, and changing to opaque packaging. But parents like Jill don't think the industry has done enough. The lawmakers will abandon the bill if those voluntary standards are met by the laundry detergent companies and put into practice. Reporting in Washington, I'm Nick Starling. The CPSC uh, says the liquid detergent packets were in the top 10 items causing poisonings to children in the past year. Until safer packaging is designed, experts suggest storing them, of course, out of the reach of children.